So we are still here at the Changamka Shopping Festival and I am with the CEO of Rocker Bags Africa, Mr. Roberts. How are you, Mr. Roberts? Thank you very much. I'm fine. I wanted to know a little bit more about the Rocker Bags. How did the idea come about? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, my name is Robert Mrima, co-founders of uh, Rocker Bags Africa. Um, this idea came about with me and my colleague, my childhood friend, Anaitwa K. So actually that is where Roka came from, Robert and Kamau. So we've been living in Coast, we were born and raised in Coast. So we grew up here, we went to the same school together. So during those times we've been seeing a lot of waste actually ending up into the Indian Ocean and landfills, thereby causing a lot of marine degradation and uh, tourist attraction. So um, one day in early 2020, January, that we came about and just sitting down, we decided to come up with this idea. We've seen a lot of banners. A lot of banners were ending up into the west, and most of them lacked a proper way of disposal. So that is where we came up with the idea of coming up with the bags. We had almost 50 ideas, but we saw, like, let us start with bags and see where they'll take us. Um, we are thankful for the last two years. The journey has been good. Yeah. Now, where, are, where is your partner? You know, events come easy, let's do my quick moja. He's on, about there, he's on his way, he's coming. Uh, kuna meetings, I kwana fanya, we also have my online meetings, partners, trying to see how we can also grow our business, not only in Mombasa, but also in the whole of Kenya. So there are meetings that he is attending, but he'll be here. Uh, but most of all, we are very thankful for KCB. Actually, they have sponsored us to be here. Actually, they have seen the works that we have been doing in Mombasa, and that is why they decided to give us this opportunity to come and showcase our products. And uh, Mombasa as well. Mombasa people have really supported us. They have donated us with the donor, with the, with these billboards and banners, especially printing farms, Kamakina, Kaflix, and many other more. That normally each and every day they call us, say, hey, Roka, maze to nice banners. Instead of ours, the two pesos the Aribu environment, they give it out to us. So we also give them incentives, Kama bags, so that at least we to Nasaidiana in the one way or the other. So, yeah. So you've mentioned that you use banners to make the bags. Is it only the banners, or do you? add other fabrics because I can see like we have other materials that they have camouflaged the banner. Yeah, so like when we started this business, actually we were only using banners. So through customer interaction, we also collected some feedback from the clients to see how best you can make these bags better. So that is why we started adding these African fabrics. So these are Kenyan fabrics. We also want to promote Kenya. Uh, like you can see here, these are Kenyan fabrics. So these fabrics now makes the bag to be more long-lasting and strong. And uh, as well, our bags are waterproof. Since the banners uh, can withstand the rain, so when you have your gadgets, electronics, any electronic, you should wear a rocker bag because they'll be safely protected. We are not sure, like any, we do that question, you and I. Yeah, so Tafkira, maybe one day, to an outfit your rocker. But for now, all electronics will be protected with rocker bags because they are, they are waterproof. And do you do any collaborations with other brands or upcoming like designers and big houses if do you have any collaborations with any of those people yes yes actually Roka has grown because of these partnerships and collaborations we have a lot of partners in Mombasa uh, currently we are uh, we have been incubated at Swahili Port Hub it's near Fort Jesus uh, that is where idea also came about and also close the gap hub uh, it's another hub in Nyali uh, whereby they train young businesses on how to grow their businesses. So through those partnerships we have been able to get networks to other designers. Like uh, we can say right now in, in Coast we have a designer called Ali and many other designers that we work together to make sure we are refining these products to be best. As much as we are, we are recycling we also want to make sure we are creating good products for our clients. So we are working with a lot of designers in Coast, best designers with over 20 years of experience to ensure that we are making good products for Mombasa people, Kenyan people. And uh, I can say we, we can boast right now, uh, we are also setting up shops abroad in Belgium. Um, people have liked our products and they say they want us, us to help us to sell them abroad. So we are also getting partnerships abroad uh, to see how we can best push rocker bags. You've mentioned that you are making them in Kenya. So currently, how many employees do you have? Yes, currently we are working with around uh, five youths. Uh, 
Uh, actually, I'm saying five, uh, but it could be more because we have photographers uh, who come, normally come on part time. We have uh, models because when you do fashion shows or when you're launching a product, we need to do a fashion show. So we work with uh, Hailey Monet Management. Uh, she's based here in Mombasa. So most of our partners are based in Mombasa here. And uh, photographers like Hastigraphy, all the cool photos that you see on our pages are done by Hastigraphy and Dijab Photography. Those are the main partners that we've worked with. And um, because every product here is unique. Look, so when you see a picture or uh, on the social media, that is what you'll get. See the bags when you a picture, you can make it So if you a picture on social media, you don't want to So that's one of the unique things about our, our products. And how has the journey been? How Do you see any changes from when you started until right now? Yeah, actually I can say but the focus and consistency is very key. When you started Roka, I took one of the Like I told you, I took a picture on Na K, yo siku ya January, tukua tuna anything, we didn't have even seeing machines, which are very important. So tuli anza tayari ku seek partnership. Kuna another training situ tinaitwa HTI, iko near Swahili culture. Awa ndo lenza kutusaidia kushona. So there's a lady amboko wana tushonia bags, then tunamlipa pole pole. Then towards the end of the year, that is when you got a sponsorship by KNCCI, while to donate two sewing machines. So I can say from that time, the journey has been good. We also bought our own sewing machine from the process of the sales that we've been making. So tenacity and uh, consistency and focus is the only key to success by there. And uh, I'll just say that we may focus successful, but we are still going there. But uh, here consistency yet in the Metifanya to make up here Mali to make what size. Yeah. So what you are going to do in terms of social media? Do you have an Instagram, Facebook account? Yeah. yeah actually, I'll say that we Mali. TikTok not going to but to be very soon. Roka Bugs Africa, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, YouTube, Roka Bugs Africa. So find us there, like our pages and uh, share. Thank you. And that is it, guys. We are still around at the Changamka Festival. So Kana Sisi will be right back.